Uh, all right, Gator. Report out there. The White Sox are actively seeking trade offers for Luis Robert. So, in fact, uh, John Heyman went and called him the number one player that will be available at the trade deadline. He's a 26-year-old outfielder coming off a year that he hit 264 with 38 home runs and 80 RBIs. He got hurt to start this year, was dealing with a like a grade two hip flexor strain or something, and hasn't played much. He's under club control for the next three years. So, look, Detroit isn't thought of as a destination. Detroit isn't thought of as a widely regarded buyer. But I always operate under the assumption that you should at least ask, you should at least investigate, why would you not investigate? So if he is a hot commodity, that means better teams are going to be asking. And if better teams are asking, you know, I don't know what is, if he has a no trade clause. I suspect he doesn't because he's in the early portion of his career, but he might. How interested or how aggressive would you pursue this guy if Scott Harris says that's the kind of player I want? Well, he's intriguing, obviously. Uh, had a fantastic year last year when he hit 38 home runs, uh, 857 OPS. But that's the first year he's played where he played more than 100 games in a season. Um, and I, I'd be a little concerned is that the, I mean, I know he's, I've watched him. I think he's talented, Mm -hmm. but you have to do a big dive and, and, and see, is that something that's projectable or is that just kind of a fluke season? Is he just a, uh, is he a good average, better, better than average baseball player? Or is he a, a budding star at the age of 26? Still a lot to, to show there. Intriguing because of being under team control for the next few years, that's that's huge. Would the White Sox trade within division like that? A player of this ilk? I'm not sure. I mean, if it's it's about minor players, I don't know if they care so much, if anybody cares so much. When you're talking about a, a big talent, mm-hmm. I don't know if 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 teams are as willing to do that. Yeah, I don't know if they are either, and I, I would tend to think no, and I you know, you try and operate within the guardrails of of reality. This would be a big move, and there's no indication that they'd make a big move, but damn it, I'd call. I'd just check to see. And and then you start putting together, okay, what kind of trade deal would get this done? Well, that's a scary part, right? I think it would come with a cost. Mm -hmm. Would Jace Young, Ty Madden? That, that That would probably get it done. I'd do it. I'd do it. I don't know. What if I told you this is a guy who struck out 172 times in 145 games last year? Yeah, I mean it's a lot, but he's he doesn't he have a terrible out 18 walk rate. times, and well, it's not a great walk rate either. He's not he's not a guy that doesn't get a walk. How how much higher was his his on base percentage than his batting average last year? And his his huge year last year, he was um, 50 points. 50 points higher. Yeah, it's not a ton, it's but it's also it's not it's not non-existent. His strikeout to walk ratio through 10 games this year. 18 to 1. Yeah, he didn't he was he didn't play much yet. So. No, he's just he's just come back. Yep. This last weekend he was or this past week he's finally back playing for the White Sox, but um those are terrible numbers. It doesn't mean he's a terrible player. Obviously, the 38 home runs has you going, "Ooh, well that's interesting." Um he's won a gold glove in his career. Uh yes, his rookie rookie season, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, he chases everything down. He's he's a really good outfielder, and I'm I'm interested, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm more than interested. Are if, you? if I'm the if I'm the Tigers, I don't think they do this. But if I was in Scott Harris's ear, please call. Please try to make a deal. I love Lewis Robert. He's young. I think his potential is crazy. He had a great year last year. Hurt this year, so obviously down. 
The White Sox are looking to move him. Here's your chance to get a big bat, a big young bat in the middle of your lineup with club control for the next three years. That's a big deal. It's a like, huge deal. And that's why and, it's yeah. going to be costly. And pretty much anyone not named Scooble or Max Crosby, or not Crosby, Clark. I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> Max Clark, those two guys are probably the only two guys that are untouchable for me. And anything else, we can we can try to make a deal because – and to go yesterday, yesterday the Tigers made an announcement, by the way, that they were going to have these premier seats behind home plate. Right. Yep. Who are you, Who's going to pay for these seats if you have no one to go see? Louis Robert, Luis Robert would be a guy I would go see. It is a business in the end. So I think it kind of goes a little bit hand in hand, but this guy's available now. I think the timing matches up. Go get him. You bring him in and your outfield would be – Ideally, what? Kerry Carpenter, Luis Robert, and Riley Green? Or Carpenter goes and be, becomes your full time DH, and you've got the other Certainly we know that there's, to do whatever you want. Yeah, there's a lot of options, and AJ Hinch uses every single option at his disposal. I don't know, man. I, I would be interested. I for sure would be interested. Now, to be clear here, Scott Harris has a philosophy, and this guy doesn't this check guy every box, every box for the philosophy. But it, it, it is, there's no doubt he's a plus bat, and he plus defender. Won a Gold Glove in his career. He can run a little bit. That's still um, twenty bases last year. Yeah, so let's let's make this happen now. Just because you don't <laughs> check every box, does that mean you wouldn't take him? If he strikes out too much for your liking, would you still take him? I mean, that's an I mean, alarming to, number. You have to have some flexibility. I don't, I don't, I mean, because it get back, you get back into the hard and fast rules thing and it's only going to be this way and you paint no, yourself I'm, into a corner. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not into the hard and fast rules, but that when you've got a, a president of baseball operations that comes out and preaches what he does about the strike zone and then you're, you're entertaining trading for a guy you struck out 172 times last year in only in less than 600 plate appearances. <laughs> and that's, that's, you'd have so to overcome it. Mean, it would have to be something you overcome and say, I'd do it anyway. Yeah. And, and obviously the 38 home runs that he hits, the defense he plays, those, those are reason to, to do it. Um, but how high of a price is it? I, mean, I feel like the, the bad year that he got off to before he got hurt is mitigated by club control. Like people, you, he'd be under, your control for three more seasons. And if he is what he was last year, he's kind of a bargain, to be honest with you. Well, he's been up and down in his career. I mean, he hasn't played long. This is only his fifth year in baseball, but it's been a little bit of up and down. The down years are still good, but are they good enough where you you would say, I mean, you're bringing up Chase Young and Ty Madden. Madden hasn't done much this year with the uh, in the minors. He just came off a really good performance. He struck out eight and three, but he's had a horrible year other than that. And Chase Young is like any second now he'll be called up. He hit his ninth home run of the uh, of the season last night, and his OPS is just under 900 right now. So there's a lot to like there. And, you know, is that a guy that they want to see before they, they entertain the thought of trading? Well, you can also get in. I mean, I just threw out two names. No, but I yeah, think but those are two. That That's like where you're going to start. I mean, yeah, Luis gotta... Robert is a guy that if you're the White Sox and you've got Luis Robert, you're thinking, here's a golden ticket I have. A guy who's in his, he's going to be 27 in August. So mm -hmm. that's another thing to consider. Okay. and But team control for three years while the guy's 20, entering his prime years of his career and they're all under team control. That's huge. And the White Sox seem to have these players all the time. Yep. Every couple of years, they've got those guys that are uh, fit the same thing, and they end up swinging some monster deal that doesn't typically work out for them. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. So, would you do it? Would you do it? Luis Robert being shopped around by the Chicago White Sox. Should the Tigers pick up and, and make the phone call? If they do make the phone call, what are you offering? How do, how do we get this done? 